الدنيا بالله يا رفيق تبقى Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips, and I'm in the garage gearing up to go offshore mode here in San Diego. We're in August 2023 now. I got my lures loaded up here. Some some cedar plugs, some hoochies, some chuggers, skirted lures. Got the iron, TTX minnow, plastic, stick baits, cold snipers. Little everything to, to throw. Check my oil. Make sure that my oil's good. We gotta go stop and get some gas. I'm low on gas right now. So we'll go fill up on uh, gas. I got my gas, two gas, game clip, pliers, spike, bait knife, rod holders, backup paddle. Guys, put inside. Radio here. Floating VHF. Radio. GPS. Then I'm in charge of the batteries. I got the lead acid here for a live well by using it. Plugs into this connection right here. Still looking good. Put some more silicone dielectric grease and then we get the fish finder battery okay offshore mode 2023 control two at a time on one of my hobie Controllers. I got the Hobie rod holders on the Hobie A trail, and I have the Scotty mounts on the Hobie A trail. These are one type on the plate, and then I have that style. Finder's good to go. We gotta stop and get supplies at the store. Ice and gas, 13.4 volts. All right, let's get it. Taking a look at how I'm rigging it right now. It's on the trailer to be able to transport. I'm gonna launch out of Mission Bay. So I'm gonna have to deal with the beach launch. We set up. I've never done this before. Trying oh, is this your first time? On the sea, dude. Yeah, I usually I have a Yeah, that's what I seen you out in La Jolla, right? Yeah. So yeah, you had the Hobie Pro Angler. That's right. So Stepping it to... off. I like it. We'll see if it works. It's yeah. My, it's my son's sea, dude, so I sort of jimmy rigged it. Uh huh. But if you get the cooler that goes with this that has the rod holders on it, they're like $1,000 just for the cooler. I know it's expensive the setup so those the, I have a friend that has that new one but this is Sea-Doo makes that other one yeah, the Fisher fish, Pro or whatever yeah, right it has a fish finder and yep. everything on it so where are you gonna head up to La Jolla I think I'm just gonna go straight out and look for um, kelp patties. yeah that's what I'm gonna do too you got a radio no I don't it, it's at the shop it, gotcha I got it yeah mine didn't last... actually I remember mine didn't charge that yeah mine's yeah, how I, well, I was looking at temp break, yeah, where that warm water was, kind of west and north, huh? Yeah, the, my friend caught two Dorado a couple days ago. Where where was he at? 30 miles straight out from Michigan. 30 miles west. I went with them two, not last Friday, the Friday before, and we got, um, we went for bluefin. Yeah. Caught six. It took us 16 hours. Where did you go? <laughs> straight out. He called it. He called it the butterfly. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty far. Yeah, we were out like. They, you got him to bite in the afternoon. All day long, people. It was really. Incredible. It was just like 
consistent because we weren't we made so many mistakes we'd never done it before how many times did you hook up about seven and we caught six you landed six they were all 40 pounds all with mistakes you, you landed six out of seven yeah we made so many mistakes everything you could do wrong we did wrong but we still managed so, All on the sardine live bait? No, uh, Mad Max. Oh, really? Five on Mad Max, one on a, a live bait. What Here's color here. and size Mad Max? It was orange. It yeah, was, the orange one, the it 200. Was, it, was, it was an orange one and a mackerel. We were controlling two. Pink right? mackerel or what? Uh, it was orange. It was, one was orange and one was blue, bluish green. That was the <laughs> mackerel one was bluish green? Yeah. There were, they, like I said, the two, two setups were his. That's why I don't know the size, the exact color. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I have one of those orange ones. I got a smaller pink one on right now that I was going to troll. I put a hoochie on the uh, treble hook trailer. So we'll see. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. You're too, you too. You. What's your name? Gary. Gary, Mikey. All right, good nice to meet you, Gary. Good luck. All right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here at Sea Fish and Sifts. We're at Tuesday, August 8th, 2023. I'm down here at Ski Beach. We were talking to Gary about some of the offshore action. Dorado, he said 30 miles out. It's a little too far. And they go with the butterfly and they went six for seven, five on the Mad Max trolling. He said orange mackerel was biting, so let's get out. kelp patty we're not even very far off i don't see any i don't see any fish on it it's pretty dirty water here we got birds i think i'm gonna start trolling might as well right Get out past this cow. So there's birds here. And a little bit further out. Wow, look at all that. What is that? Let's see. It's a lot of stuff on the screen. Drop all the way to the bottom.
high spot I just stopped at the very top. Oh, there's new C4. Said 168 on my maps. See, dropping the mega bait. Four and a half ounce. Birds coming out. There's the setup I'm rocking with that hoochie. Trouble hook. So hard. Jet ski that I saw him in at Ski Beach. Lure water. Trying to find the patties. Here we go, first patty right here. See any fish? Nobody home at this first party. Tried the mad skag on it. We're gonna keep trolling. A lot of bluer water, bigger patty. Max, it had some kelp on it. I'm gonna make my way to the buoy, La Jolla weather buoy, right here. Go out there, there, there. Water temp still fluctuating. by La Jolla weather buoy got another boat out fishing here and I'm gonna cast a little piece of trash or something in the water here I'm scared Around this 
cloudy a little bit. Cast on it. Now I'm gonna troll around it in circles. Does any Dorado get them fired up with the motor? And then have that pink and blue feather out there, lure, skirted lure. All right, I'm gonna make a high speed run. Back to LJ with the Mad Max out. Here we go, Showtime back with the Mad Max. A little custom, thanks to JR. Keeping that idea. See some dolphins up here. that surface iron bloofing out here with Shane on the green white. Coming in La Jolla here. No love on the outside on the troll offshore today. I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. We can bring the Mad Max in. Tie on the DTX Minnow 140 on the TLD. Have the yo-yo and another maybe plastic or snipe mega bait jig on candy bar plastic or mega bait iron and play around in la jolla maybe i can get lucky from green braid main line to the swivel and then I'm gonna go leader swivel to leader 50 pound same thing seven turns jam knot arms length a little shorter because my rod shorter wind kicking up just ever so slightly Got the DTX Minnow 140. I just put some fresh trebles on it. Not much paint left. Calico loved to chew on this thing. Thank you, Jacob, Bassmaster Jacob, for hooking it up. 71 water temp here in LJ. All right. Yo-yo through these marks. 
We're still trolling. Saw some marks on the bottom. I think I'm already gonna buy them. Give it a shot. Look at that. I think there's a fish on here. Yep. Big calicos here. First fish. Shallower water. Jigging. Yo yoing. <laughs> Course. Had the drag pretty tight, I guess. No, look at that sand bass. The nomad slamming it, the sand bass. On the troll. I mean, I was letting it sit out there. I don't know if I've ever caught a sand bass. I know a lot of calico. That's what I thought it was. Let's keep trolling. Wow. That's the first. sitting and yo-yoing. It's the new thing with the Nomad Lure, I guess. See this calico or a sand bass. Crazy. Now we got the calico. Hit both the hooks. As it was just sitting there, like I was saying, a lot of calico out here. He's too small, I'm not keeping him anyways. It's almost like he just swam through it. Keep trolling. Every time I get hit, it's not even when I'm moving, it's when I'm stopped, yo-yoing. All right, we got a little patch of kelp. Boat out here, fish, I think that's cracking maybe. New C4 is coming through. And then I just saw a bunch of birds in the distance, so still trolling the DTX Minnow 140. A bunch, bunch of other birds are heading out over that way too, so we shall see what's gonna happen. Maybe they'll chum it up for me, new C4. All right, I was gonna go to the seabed area. It's almost right where New Sea Four is pulling up. That's a couple birds out here. This other boat is fishing. I don't know if they're chumming. They should be chumming over here. And I'm trolling. Got the yo-yo ready. Got the plastic ready. Might switch out to the cold sniper. It's a little bit deep water right now. I'll have it ready to go. It's 1.30 right now, but 72 and a half water temp in, in LJ right now. That's good, it's warming up. Saw a little patch of kelp. C4 is kind of circling around. Might yo-yo a little bit. New C4 has been getting yellowtail. Um, they got one on their one on their PM trip yesterday. Got a lot of birds. Back here in the chum line, you see forth, and then birds moving. I'm trolling, got my eye out on the fish finder. Let's get hooked up. I'm liking this. Got one on the troll. Bigger calico bass now. Same thing on the troll. The DTX Minnow 140. Black, red, and yellow. 
mackerel trolling under the turn birds and it crushed it while I was moving. A lot of bass out here. Maybe I can get lucky with the yellowtail. Probably keeper size, but I'm not gonna keep them going back. Keep trolling. Bass number three, two calicos and a sand bass. On the troll, trolling hard. Hook up another one. Looks like another keeper sized calico. Man, look at how orange his mouth is. See that? Crazy orange. He's crushing that GTX minnow 140. Red, black, yellow mackerel. Wow, that sure is a lot of birds sitting here on top of the water. And then there's another pack behind further out. I'm not seeing anything on the finder. Kind of scattering out into the distance. Some birds as well. There's the condo. Kind of overcast today. Got the sea forth. 2.30, been the name of the game today has been searching offshore, trolling the Mad Max and the skirted lure, and then coming on into La Jolla, trolling the DTX Minnow for bass, three calico and a sand bass. Trolling hard today. See if we get that yellowtail on the troll. Come on, baby. Here we go again. Another one. <laughs> Sand bass, probably keeper of two. Getting in the shallows now. Lots of birds, what's under them? Up, we got the calico bass, a smaller one on the candy bar. Yeah, candy bar lead head, one ounce chartreuse with the eyeball on the candy bar A clip, and then candy bar four inch white and green plastic. Bass are just loaded out here right now. I had a biter, yep. Yeah. See what's going on. Under the bird, cast the candy bar a little bit more. Paddle tail plastic. Oh. Got him. Woo! Nice chunky one. Doing work. Yeah. Candy bar. Calico here in LJ, La Jolla. Crushed it on the retrieve back in. Kept going after it close to the boat. Steady wine back. Classic. I was letting my plastic out, dropping it as I was kind of trolling it. And now I had a calico crush it. Look at that. Another one on the candy bar plastic. They're loving this thing. Not really hitting the DTX. They crushed. I was just 
letting it die. Next one here. On the plastic again. As I'm just cruising around. Look at that. Some nice sized calicos too. What is that, number three? On the candy bar. Plastic. It's all chewed up, but and we have to get a fresh one. I only got this one. Make my way back slowly. Just crushed it as it was drifting along the bottom. Got one on the troll here. Jeez, look at that guy. Next up, another big calico on the Nomad. Yeah, smashing it. Here on the solo skip in LJ. Every time I can't even get to where the boils are at it's just every time another calico that looks like a keeper to me Another one bites the dust. And we get back. Not fast every day. All right, it's 4:45 now, and I'm still trolling hard. Coming to the south end of La Jolla, New Seaport's back over there with the other boats. That's the bass zone. Then I got a couple birds working here on the reserve line and I'm gonna keep trolling. I got my plastic ready to cast, my yo-yo iron. Might get my surface iron ready. And then make my way back in. I'm gonna bake that gun. We got the no take zone. I'm riding the line right now. Shallower water. Still trolling hard. Couple birds over here, this boat's fishing. See if anything pops up, if I can get lucky. What a gorgeous day. Started early, a little after seven, down at Ski Beach, I saw Gary. First some kayakers, I was talking with them. And then Gary with the jet ski, kayaker that just got the jet ski to fish off of from his son. Saw him when I cruised out. Went out by the La Jolla weather buoy. Maybe like eight, eight miles, 10 miles or so. Offshore, found a couple patties, nothing holding. Then came back in and just fast madness. Here in La Jolla, got him on the troll, sand bass and calico bass. Got him on the plastics. I haven't really tried the cold sniper, the candy bar, that green and white one ounce sled head chartreuse paddle tail. It's got that little bit of purple on the side of it. It's awesome. It's cool. Check it out. I'll put in the links for my code, discount code. If you visit Squidco, mention Mikey and get, get a code for a discount. And then also that helps me out. Uh, if you if you buy stuff under my name so thank you all for the love and support i'm fishing hard 
trolling hard. We're gonna pretty much wrap it up. Still getting into shallower water, but I couldn't be where I'm at without all you wonderful people. Feels good to be back in La Jolla too, fishing.
All done, let's have a look. Pull this bad boy out. down to the bone. Pick it off and put it in my lettuce here. Little topping. Calico bass. Baked 